ESPN insider Dan Grisogno recently stated that the Las Vegas Raiders are one of two teams who have made it known that they're looking to jump up into the top three picks. Uh, the Raiders have apparently made calls. They've apparently tried to, to trade and apparently reached out to all three teams. And they're trying to jump up to get themselves a quarterback. And it, it makes sense, right? Antonio Pierce has stated this multiple times that they got to get a quarterback. Uh, we've also seen him kind of push uh, or at least roll it back a little bit where he's starting to commit a little bit more towards to a McConnell. Uh, but it does look like the Raiders are interested in Dan Grisogno of ESPN has made it clear. Check out what he had to say. Which teams are you hearing that might move up to take their franchise quarterback? The two that you hear most strongly, Christina, are the Minnesota Vikings and the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, those would be big jumps for both of those teams, and it could really depend on what happens at the very top. If we assume Caleb Williams goes first to the Bears, then what does Washington do? If Washington takes Jaden Daniels, that might make the Vikings or the Raiders less motivated to go up if Daniels is the guy they like over Drake May. If Washington takes May and the Vikings and Raiders both want Daniels, all of a sudden that Patriots pick at number three becomes very valuable. Remember, the Vikings have already acquired a second first round pick in a trade a couple weeks ago with Houston, so that gives them extra ammunition to move up if they want to. Now, if you guys had asked me about a week ago, is it possible that the Raiders trade up into the top three picks? I would have said it is not possible. All three teams need quarterbacks. All three teams actually traded away their quarterbacks from last year going into this year. And I think all three teams are at the point where uh, you want to win, you want to have success. You realize how much a quarterback actually means to having success. And uh, the Raiders understand that. The Vikings understand that. Uh, and those two teams also need quarterbacks. So, of course, Grisogno's report makes sense. They've been fielding calls. Now, I'm only making this video to tell you guys that I think there's actually a chance that the Raiders do look to trade up. And I do think it can happen. In fact, we've been hearing reports that teams actually value J.J. McCarthy as the quarterback to in this class. Even Antonio Pierce told us recently, just a couple days ago. He said, I don't know how J.J. McCarthy isn't in the top three when it comes to the actual draft. Uh, when it comes to actual big board, how teams won't have him as one of the top three quarterbacks. Now, of course, Antonio Pierce, you know, loves Jaden Daniels and he said top three, but I'm pretty sure Antonio Pierce also recognizes that J.J. McCarthy is probably the second best quarterback in this class, or at least that's how it's kind of valued. I may not agree with that, but I do think that teams do value it in that instance. And I think the Patriots do as well. I think the Patriots believe J.J. McCarthy is the number two quarterback in this class. In fact, I think the Patriots feel that the only two quarterbacks they're willing to take at the number three overall pick is Caleb Williams and J.J. McCarthy. And unfortunately for the Patriots, the Commanders and the Bears pick in front of them, and they probably have the same draft board. So what that means is the Bears who traded away Justin Fields are taking Caleb Williams, and the Commanders who have apparently had you know, been getting multiple calls. Apparently, the commanders have been telling people politely that we are not trading this pick. All right, apparently, that's what the Washington commanders have been doing. And this is according to Albert Breer, who's a very solid NFL insider. So apparently, the commanders are set on taking J.J. McCarthy as the number two overall pick. So what that means for the Patriots now is the two quarterbacks you value the most are going to be off the board. And there's a chance the Patriots don't like Jaden Daniels at number three. There's a chance they don't like Drake May at number three. There's a chance that the Patriots don't want to take a quarterback at number three. Instead, they may feel it makes more sense to kind of trade out at this pick. And for the Raiders, that's a way for them to ultimately jump up. Now, the Vikings do have two first-round picks, and I do think that benefits the Vikings because the Patriots are interested in Michael Penix Jr. Uh, the Patriots have sent four scouts to the Pro Day. Uh, they sent... Uh, scouts to help run the pro day for, with Penix, specifically the quarterback drills and those type of things. And uh, to me, that's kind of interesting because although you're going to evaluate every single you know person you can, you know, Washington doesn't have great players, right? They do have a pretty good wide receiver who's going to be a first round pick. And maybe the Patriots are interested in him if he somehow gets into the second round. But generally speaking, Washington's best player is the one offensive lineman, the one wide receiver, and the one quarterback. And there's other role players and those type of things. But generally speaking, to go to that pro day and send four scouts to that pro day, there's a chance that the Patriots think Michael Penix Jr. later on in the first round. All right, maybe they do that trade with the Vikings. They get both first round picks. And maybe that's what the Patriots ultimately do. But it does give the Raiders the opportunity to actually jump up. And to actually, you know, make the 
the the right pick at the quarterback position for the Raiders, uh, which would be Jaden Daniels, right? If the two top guys are off the board, uh, Jaden Daniels just makes a ton of sense. Now, some people are going to say, I don't think the Patriots are trading out of that pick. Uh, Adam Schefter, she does think that the Patriots are going to trade out of that pick. Check out what he just recently had to say on the Patriots possibly trading that pick. I think that New England is going to listen. And if the right offer comes the way of the Patriots, I think that they could be enticed into trading out. Do I think they'll ultimately stay and make the pick at three? My guess would be yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, sorry about it. But uh, JJ, JJ McCarthy. McCarthy. So obviously Schefter believes that the New England Patriots are possibly going to trade that pick. And I think it also just kind of makes sense, right? You got to keep in mind every team evaluates quarterbacks differently. Uh, but I think generally speaking, the NFL has kind of come together on this. You know, you look at Will Levis as an example. Uh, in the draft community, everybody was saying Will Levis is going to be a top 10 pick. And the NFL realized that he's he's not worthy of one of the top five or six picks. He ended up slipping all the way down into the second round where the Titans ultimately made the decision to draft him. But when you look at when you look at it in that instance, the Titans had, I believe, the number 10 overall pick. And Will Levis was on the board. Instead, they took a guard over Will Levis. Think about what that kind of means, right? Um, so when it comes to evaluations, those type of things, it's a tricky process. You got to realize that, you know, quarterbacks aren't going to go one, two, three, and four necessarily. Some guys may just not be valued as high by certain teams. And uh, what's interesting is, is that the Raiders are sending a bunch of scouts. Uh, they're sending their their head coach, Antonio Pierce. They're sending Luke Getze and their quarterback coach, Rick Scangarello. Uh, they're sending all three of these guys to the pro day of Jaden Daniels, which actually happened yesterday. So technically it's already happened. But the Raiders sent their quarterbacks coach and their offensive coordinator to go meet with Jaden Daniels. And they, they even had a private dinner afterwards, right? So you already kind of see that the Raiders are looking at Jaden Daniels. They're 100% interested in this guy, right? They clearly want Jaden Daniels as the Raiders quarterback so much that the quarterbacks coach and offensive coordinator went and met with him. And you don't do that unless you think he's actually a real shot to being your quarterback. So to me, when you look at all these different reports, when you look at all these different things that are kind of happening, it makes a lot of sense to me, right? I think there's a real chance that the Patriots are not going to take a quarterback if it's not J.J. McCarthy. If it's not Caleb Williams, I think there's a real chance the Patriots say Jaden Daniels isn't worth the number three overall pick uh, and and uh, Drake May's not worth the number three overall pick. So what ultimately happens is uh, the Patriots either trade out or they just take a wide receiver. And now you're looking at the number four and number five overall picks possibly being in play. And the Raiders can make it happen with the Cardinals, the Chargers. I just find it very interesting that we're at the point now where that Patriots pick is so valuable, right? Uh, another thing I want to kind of just mention with the Patriots is, uh, you know, I think the Bears have a very good roster. I think Ryan Poles is one of the best general managers in the NFL. He's put together one of the best offensive lines. They have really, really solid weapons, right? They got Keenan Allen. They already had DJ Moore. Uh, they had a breakout tight end last season in Cole Komet. Um, you put all of that together with the number one prospect at the quarterback position, you're going to have a good offense. Uh, they went out and got Shane Waldron, who was the offense coordinator of the Seahawks, who really made Geno Smith a star over the past two seasons. Uh, and then take it a step further, you know, they got Montez Sweat. They re-signed Jalen uh, Johnson. They extended him. Uh, they got Tremaine Edmonds just a year before. Their defense last year was a top 10 defense, right? It was ranked very, very high. So to me, the Bears are a winning team, or at least they're going to start winning, or they'll at least try to compete to win. They're all in, is what I'm trying to say. The Commanders aren't that far either, right? They got a good offense. They have a good D-line. They have some good secondary pieces and linebackers. Just got to really put it together. But they're also at the point where they can get a quarterback. The Patriots kind of are in that same boat. The Patriots tried going all in on Calvin Ridley. It didn't work out for them. Right? Calvin Ridley ended up going to a different team. And for the Patriots, you miss out on Calvin Ridley. What that means now is you may need a wide receiver. So you may ultimately end up taking a wide receiver with that number three overall pick. Or you sw uh, trade back a little bit. Right, I think the Vikings have um, the 10th overall pick. Don't quote me on that. Just a couple picks for the, the Raiders. And maybe if you trade with them or the Raiders, it just depends on what happens. Maybe the Raiders throw in a wide receiver or, or, or something to that tune. Uh, the Patriots at that point can at least, you know, kind of retool and go into next season with the thought process that we're going to take a quarterback. Or if you're able to get a wide receiver um, either with either pick or via a trade, you know, it also allows you to take an offensive tackle, 
with the actual pick if you get a player and a pick. Uh, and it also allows you to possibly trade back into the first round to take Michael Penix Jr. So either way, you still get a quarterback and a wide receiver altogether. Right. So again, to me, it makes a ton of sense that the Raiders are actually interested in Jaden Daniels. And I could definitely see it actually happening as well. Uh, Devontae Adams actually uh, put Jaden Daniels on his uh, Instagram story, uh, which to me, you know, generally doesn't mean anything. But, you know, how often is Devontae Adams putting random quarterbacks on his Instagram story? Like when was the last time Devontae Adams put Drake May on his story? Right. Or Bo Nix on his story. Right. It, it doesn't happen. What about Spencer Riddler? It does not happen. What about J.J. McCarthy? I haven't seen Devontae Adams post anything about any of those guys. But he does post about Jaden Daniels specifically. So I think there's a real chance that Devontae Adams already knows kind of what's going to happen. I think there's a real chance that maybe the Raiders already know that, hey, Jaden Daniels isn't going to be, I you know, the top three quarterbacks, even if the Patriots take a quarterback. Something tells me Devontae Adams maybe has a little bit of insight on what the Raiders are going to do. Uh, I think the Raiders are highly, highly, highly interested in getting their quarterback. And I think there's a real shot that the Raiders do get a quarterback. And they do trade into the top three picks, specifically the number three overall pick. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. I want to know what you guys think. Obviously, uh, a lot of this is kind of taking different reports and trying to tie them together. I find it interesting regardless. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.